Good morning, everyone. Day 12. Tuesday. Uh, daily Bible verse. Just a regular Tuesday. Kind of a boring day. Just fix us it up for a time lapse. It's got a really pretty sky today. Come outside to check on what the noise was. It was my son riding his bike. Apparently, his mom and him are home, and I didn't know that. But when I come outside, check this out. But yeah, so Tuesday afternoon, not much going on, except that the moon's kind of cool. Bible verse. Uh, today we're looking at Jeremiah 31 3. The Lord appeared to him from far away. I have loved you with everlasting love, therefore I have continued my faithfulness to you. Now the Lord was speaking to the prophet Jeremiah, and this is Jeremiah wrote this Bible, this, this particular book. It seems to be that most of it, the most important takeaway from this verse is going to be that he is going to provide them with the security they need. That he's always going to be with them, regardless of the situation. And even though they may be in despair, that their situation may be not the greatest at the time, that he's still going to walk with them. He's still going to be with them. And I think that's what's important to all of us to remember, is that no matter the situation that we're in, no matter how low that we seem to think that we're going to go, that the Lord is going to be with us. He will stay with us and his love will be shown to us. We may not always see it in the situation at the time, but it will manifest itself because it always will happen to people when they fall away from serving the Lord. They feel that some way that the Lord no longer approves of them or where they're actually at. Of course, you know, that's not true. He even actually says, uh, he mentions here, uh, having loved his own which were in the world, he loved them unto the end is what they say of Jesus in John uh, 13, 1. So we get to this point to where we have to look at that even though that we feel on our hearts that we might not be worthy, that we've done something so wrong, he's gonna continue to stay with us. He's gonna be there with us. He's gonna love us because that's who he is. I mean, he is love. He is everything that personifies love. He sent his only son to die for us. We are his children. Israel was his, his chosen people. But now we are all his chosen people. Because of his son, we are now all his people. And basically the passage from what I can tell is that the Lord is telling us how he feels about us. He says to us, he's saying it to us intimately and personally, that I have loved you with everlasting love. I love you. I always have and I always will. My love for you has always been and my love has no end. That's... Then to me, that's the most important thing that we need to be taking from this. Is that no matter what happens, no matter what we go through, no matter what we do, or how we seem to treat him, he's going to love us. As long as we continue to stay with him, he is always going to love us regardless. Day 13, Daily Bible Verse. Today we, we looked at Jeremiah 31, 3. And remember, be kind, don't be mean, and love one another. I just want to say thank you guys for all of those that are watching out there. I just hope that you guys are getting something from this. So thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. It, it looks very, very, very small. Very small. So today we're looking at uh, Daily Bible Verse, verse 13. Oh. Thanks for watching.